Holy shit, sorry, just uh, can, you, can you give me like one second, please? <sighs> yeah, okay, I'm uh, I think I'm good now. Sorry about that, I, I really didn't mean to freak you out, I promise. Uh, there was just kind of a frog in my throat. Literally. Uh, you seem a bit less freaked out now, which is good. That's good. I mean, honestly, you're kind of a huge idiot wandering around a place like this at night and expecting not to encounter something. Or were you? Really, what were you expecting to find here? An anime boy? Uncredited art? Or maybe. <laughs> maybe. Even properly credited or self-drawn artwork. <laughs> I mean, that's even more of a cryptid than I am. Anyways, it's almost like you had absolutely no choice or agency in coming here. Your five-second response of complete silence speaks volumes about you. I guess you're, uh, not much of a talker, huh? Anyone ever tell you that? More of a... listener, I guess? Why do I get the feeling I just made a really, really bad joke? Alright, uh, then, oh, silent one. I'm sure you came here searching for the bog monster that haunts this place. I know the townspeople have been talking about me. Or at least they better have been talking about me because I have been trying to scare them for weeks. Don't judge me. This is like my one source of entertainment at this point. Or maybe you don't know and are stupid for no reason instead of stupid for curiosity's sake. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. Oh, Jesus Christ, stop looking at me like that. I'm not going to kill you. Probably. Hey, hey, okay, calm, calm down. I'm not gonna eat your eyes or liver or anything. I actually need your help, which means I need you not dead. A live view is good. So, the truth is, I, I'm not actually a bog monster. I'm just like, dead, I guess? Ghost, zombie, I don't really know, not really sure. Being dead is super confusing, you know? I didn't exactly take a course on the whole being dead thing before I was murdered. Of course I was murdered! Do I look like someone who died a peaceful death or had a fulfilling life? I wouldn't be rotting in this murky, shallow grave if I was. So, how do you, my friend, feel like playing a bit of detective and finding my killer and bringing them to justice? Yeah, no, the, the cops weren't a load of help. I think I'm still considered... missing? <laughs> Newsflash, assholes. I'm super fucking dead. Idiots couldn't even find my body. So hey, you're one step ahead of them already. Good for you. No, I know what you're thinking. Obviously, you should ask me what I know. After all... I'm the victim. I should know everything, right? Easy peasy. I tell you the killer. Give you some evidence. You go to the cops and BAM! Case closed and you're praised as a local hero. Maybe you'll even get a five minute segment on the nightly news. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Sweetheart. Where's the fun in me just giving you the answers? I'm not about to let you cheat-sheet your way through my death. Yeah, I'm, I'm being a, 
bit of a prick, but can you blame me, honestly? This is the most entertainment I've had in months. I was kind of like this in life, honestly, too. Um, maybe that's why I got murdered. Plus, I don't really know what'll happen if the case gets solved. Like, will my unfinished business or whatever be done? What'll that even be like? A second death? Can you die twice? Do I go to purgatory? Is that place even real? Do I go to hell? <laughs> uh, anyways, there should really be some sort of manual you get when you die. Be real helpful right about now. Heaven. Oh, oh no, I, I think you have me mixed up. Uh, purgatory. Hell. Those seem like options for me. Uh, heaven. Hmm. Okay. Moving on to start you off. I'll throw you a bone. Not one of mine, obviously. And I'll give you some suspects. I may want to watch you struggle, but I'm not going to throw you in completely blind. I'm not that sadistic. Alright. Got a notepad? Yes, no, maybe so? Too bad. We're diving right in. I'm about to give you your suspect list. Suspects 1 through 3 are some of my exes. The first one is Carter. <sighs> God, he was hot. Total airhead, though. I ended it because, well, uh... I guess you could say he was a bit... two-dimensional. Where the hell did that come from? No, 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 you heard that shit, right? God, I thought I was the scariest thing happening here, but there might be a bad stand-up show going on. Whatever. Uh, the second is Eliza. We had a great relationship. Really, really good. Uh, for a while? Until I kind of cheated on her with her twin sister. Which was totally an accident, by the way. But god, she was so mad. Twins are just so easy to mix up, you know? Even if they were fraternal. She just couldn't let it go. Never got over it. To top off the exes, we have Jessie. Very, very messy breakup. Once again, super not my fault. I think last I heard they were in a relationship with Carter or Eliza... But I can't remember which. I'm sensing some judgment here. You're not perfect either, okay? Anyways, you should be grateful. I narrowed my exes down. I could have made you look into John, Nick, Stacy, Stacy's mom, Stacy's dad, Jennifer, Peyton, Ashley, Chris. Yeah, I, um. I should stop before I really, really get started rambling. It is a long list. Okay. Alrighty. Bit of a speed round here. Because I have honestly talked for way too long and I'm mildly concerned that my jaw might actually fall off. Alice, my ex-co-worker, who I got fired because she was stealing tips from me, and other people, but she really, really seemed to take issue with me. Uh, my older brother, Jason, he has literally always hated me for no reason. I, like, since the day I was born. Louis, uh, he works at a, a bakery kind of off of Central. The, whatchamacallit, uh, you, you know which one I'm talking about, right? There's only like a few in town. You, you can figure it out. Honestly, I could go on and on with people who had motives, but I really don't feel like listing half the town right now. God, that was a bunch of names though, right? Um, oh, shit, I haven't given you mine, have I? Do you really even deserve it? Uh, whatever, we're going to be working together, so I am Bo. And no, I will not be telling you what that is short for. 
because I curse my parents every day of my life uh, on life now whatever for naming me that Jason gets a normal name but no they wanted me to get bullied as a kid <sighs> whatever I didn't ask your name either yet, did I? Eh, I, I guess I don't really care though, and it's not like you're going to respond anyways. But go ahead, call my bluff. Tell me right now, I'll, I'll even wait for a few seconds. Alrighty, silence once again. Well, this has been enlightening. I'm going to go put together some spooky messages with sticks to freak out the local fishermen. Report back to me tomorrow fresh-faced and ready to interrogate my possible killers as a complete stranger to both me and them. Bet that'll be real awkward. Anyways, uh, I guess we'll see you later, partner. Whatever. Just show back up tomorrow. Boo. <laughs> oh god, that probably sounds dorky. But haha, you have been pranked! You have fallen, fallen for my ruse. Don't you feel stupid? Ah, uh, yes. Happy April f fucking Christ. It is is June, isn't it? <clears throat> Give me a second, please. <laughs> <laughs>